Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the text function. So the text function is going to be essential if you wanna combine text with formatted numbers. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at 11 different examples using the text function. Let's take a look. The text function is going to allow you to convert any number to a text value and apply formatting to that number. Now the text function takes two arguments. So the first is the value that you wanna convert into text. And the second is the formatting that you wanna to apply to that value. Now, why would you want to use the text function? Let's take a look at an example. So here we've got an amount and a date, and you can see that our amount has a currency formatting applied to it. And a date is really just a serial number with date formatting applied to it. Now, if we try and concatenate these values, so here we're combining these two values with a bit of text. And when we do that, you can see that the formatting, the currency formatting for the number and the date formatting for our date do not appear in our concatenated result. So if we want this amount value and date value to appear with their respective formatting, then we're gonna to need to use the text function in order to do this. So here we've got a similar concatenation, but this time we're using the text function to combine those values together and apply the formatting required. And this way our result is going to contain the currency formatting and the date formatting. The first example that we're gonna take a look at with the text function is using it to add leading zeros to numbers. So suppose you have an ID, something like an invoice ID, and you need this to be a fixed number of digits. Then you can use the text function to pad these values with leading zeros so that the total number of characters is fixed. So let's take a look here. We're gonna use the text function and the values that we're gonna pad are right here. We're just going to apply a formatting string of six zeros. And what that's going to do is then pad the remaining digits in the results as zeros. So here you can see we've got the value one, and then we've got five zeros in front so that the total number of digits in our results is six digits. And here we've got the value one, two, three, and then the result here, we've got three leading zeros so that the total number of digits is still six. The next example we're gonna take a look at with the text function is formatting numbers as a currency. And here we're gonna apply this format string with our text function. So here we've got a currency symbol and then the next part of our format string here, we're going to have commas as our thousands separator. And then at the end, we've got a period with two zeros. And this is going to show two decimal places for our value. So again, we're gonna use the text function and apply it to these values here. And then we're going to apply this format string to those values. And when we press enter, we get a currency formatted text string. So here you can see that our value has a dollar symbol out in front and the number has a comma for the thousand separator. And then we've got two decimal places at the end. The next example we're gonna take a look at is using the text function to format negative numbers with parentheses and zeros as dashes. So the format string that you use allows us to specify what happens to both negative numbers and zero values as well. And in order to do that, all we need to do is separate these format strings with a semicolon. So here, our first part allows us to describe what happens to positive numbers in the formatting. The second part allows us to specify what happens to negative numbers. And here you can see that this format is inside of two parentheses. And then the last part allows us to specify what happens to zero values. And here we've just got a dash. So any zero values are gonna show as dashes from our text function. 
So here you can see that we've got a negative value and then the output from the text function here is in parentheses and here we've got a zero value and the output is just a dash. The next format example with our text function is going to be formatting numbers in thousands, millions, or billions. So the format string that we're going to use with our text function is this. And the first part here is going to show the results with a thousand comma separator as well as one decimal place. And then following that, we've got a second comma followed by a space. And this is what's going to show the results in thousands instead of regular numbers. And then after that, we're just going to show the letter K to indicate that it is in thousands of units. And here we've got a backslash in front of our K as this acts as an escape character as some letters are going to be reserved for other types of formatting. And so in order to just be sure that we show the letter, we are going to escape that character with the backslash. So here you can see our results. Here we've got the value 92,000 and something. And then the text function is going to return 92.0K. Now we can do a similar thing with millions. And the only difference here is that at the end, we've got two commas followed by a space. And here the backslash is definitely needed as M is used in formatting strings for month values. So in order to show the letter M, you need to escape this with the backslash. And here are results. Here we've got the value 3,890,000 something. And then the text value is going to show 3.9 million. Also, we can do a similar thing with billions. And here we're gonna have three commas on the end followed by a space and a backslash with our B character. And the results here, we've got 1,451,000,000. And our text function is going to return this as 1.5 billion. The next example we're gonna take a look at with our text function is formatting numbers as telephone numbers. So the format string we're going to apply to our numbers is this. So here we've just got plus one followed by a space. And then we've got our first three numbers of our telephone inside of parentheses. And then we've got a space, three more digits, a dash, and then four digits. And so here we've got several 10 digit telephone numbers. And you can see the results includes our country area code plus one. And then the first three digits inside our parentheses and then a space, and then the next seven digits where the first three are separated by a dash. Now, different countries will have different phone number formatting, and we can do similar things for those. So here, for example, is a format string for Irish numbers. And then this is going to apply the starting country area code 353 to our numbers. So here we've got some numbers without that area code and then the resulting text function numbers are going to include that. The next format example we have is formatting numbers as a percentage. So here, this format string is quite simple. We just got 0.0, .0 with a percent sign at the end. And that's going to allow us to convert our decimal values into percent values. So here, for example, we've got 0.6828, and the text function is going to return that as 68.3%. The next format example we have is going to allow us to show numbers in scientific notation. So we can use this format string here in order to do that. And so our text function is going to return the scientific notation version in Excel of any value. So here we've got the value 123,000. And in scientific notation, that would be 1.24 times 10 raised to the fifth power. 
The next example we're going to take a look at is showing numbers as fractions. So we can use this format string here, a question mark with a forward slash and another question mark. So this represents the numerator and the denominator of our fraction. And we can use this with our text function to show decimal values as fractions. So here, for example, 1.25 is 5 fourths. Or here we've got 0.3 repeating, and that's represented as 1 third. Now we can also show the whole part and the fraction. So if we put a number sign in front of this, then that's going to allow us to show something like 1.25 as 1 and 1 quarter, or 4.25 as 4 and 1 quarter. So here we're able to show the whole number with the fractional part. In this next example, we're going to use the text function to format our numbers with a unit of measure at the end. So in this example, we've got the format string that's going to apply a degrees Celsius unit to the end of our number. And so here, for example, we've got 23.7, and our text function is going to return 23.7 degrees Celsius with our format string. Now we can do this for other units of measure. So for example, here we've got a format string that's going to return kilograms. Here we've got a format string that's going to return centimeters. Here we've got a format string that has a single quote mark, and we can use that to indicate feet. And here we've got a format string with a double quote mark, and we can use that to indicate inches. In our next example, we're going to use the text function to get the weekday name and the month name from a date. So in order to get the weekday name, we can use the letter D. And so if we use a format string with three Ds, then that's going to allow us to get an abbreviated day name. So here, the first three letters of the day of the week is shown from our text function. And if we use a format string of four Ds, then that's going to return the full weekday name with our text function. Now we can do a similar thing with month names from a date. So here, if we use three Ms as our format string, then that's going to return the abbreviated month name. Here, if we use four Ms in our format string, then we're gonna get the full month name and finally, if we use five Ms in our format string, then that's actually going to return the first letter of the month name. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at custom formats for dates and times. So we've already seen that we can get the weekday name or the month name with either M or D as our format string. So we also have the option to get the year values from a date with the letter Y. So we can either get a two digit year or a four digit year. Now we can also extract a single digit month number and the format string for that is just gonna be a single letter M. Two M's is gonna give us a two digit month number. So this is going to have a leading zero if it's a single digit. And as we saw before, we can get the month name as either an abbreviation or the full month name, or even just the first letter of the month. With the letter D, a single D is going to give a one digit value. Two Ds is going to give us a double digit, and that's going to have a leading zero for single values. And as we saw before, we can either get the abbreviated or full weekday name. Now with these format strings, we can combine these in any sort of custom way that we want. So here as an example, we've got a format string that's going to show us the full weekday name, followed by the month name, followed by the day, and then the year. We've also got a format string here, a standard year, month, day format, and we get our results like this. And we can also do a similar thing for time. So we can use H, M, or S to represent hours, minutes, or seconds. And here you'll notice that M for minutes is the same character as M for months. Now, 
in order to get the minutes, you're also going to need to use the H value before that. Otherwise, you're going to be getting the month value. So here, for example, we've got a format string that's going to return a 12 hour format time. And then here we've got a format string that's going to return a 24 hour format. So there you go. That's 11 essential text formula examples. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.